Have you read this amazing story yet? We recommend it. No, I haven't read this amazing story yet, Fairy Lee. I'm sorry. It's on my shelf though. I promise I'm gonna get to it soon. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. I actually can't believe it that it's this time again already. But I'm here today to do another Fairy Loot unboxing. Um, I don't think the excitement of this is ever going to wear off. The theme is what the future holds. I genuinely have no idea what the book is. I, I genuinely have no idea. So I think that's going to make this even more exciting. So I'm just going to get into it because my last Fairy Loot video I was filming for so long and it was such a nightmare to edit. This is the spoiler card, um, stunning artwork. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna try and avoid this spoiler card unless I desperately need it because I don't know what the book is. So, we have this, a box slash pencil tin, which will be really cool actually to keep like journaling supplies in, but there's stuff, something in here. I don't know what it could be. Got this luxurious velvet pouch. What is this? Oh my goodness, it's cutlery, I think. <laughs> oh wow, luxurious. We have this spoon. It says every locked door has a key. This would have been perfect if I was still at college. I used to take um cutlery every day. Whoop! The knife, and it says everything's science fiction until someone makes it science fact. That's so cool. I have no idea what this is inspired by. I'll read it on the spoiler card in a sec. The fork says, think badass thoughts. Love that. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. <laughs> they are really beautiful. And the box that they come in is stunning as well. Cutlery sets, each utensil features a quote from Warcross by Marie Lu, and the box has a stunning design of the main heroine Emika, illustrated by the talented Warwick Art. Okay, so that is item number one. Let's get rid of that. So, I knew there was gonna be a candle in here because they did tell us that there was gonna be a candle. Broken isn't the same as unfixable. Cranberry, peach, citrus, vanilla, fairy loot exclusive. Oh my goodness, it's actually so beautiful. And I would imagine when you like this, there'll be like glitter and stuff. That smells so nice. Yeah, that's stunning. I can't wait to burn that. It's time to snuggle down and read. We hope you'll enjoy your new candle, hand poured by Flick the Wick. It's inspired by the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Mayer and it'll make your room smell delightful. It's beautiful. I'm very, very happy with this. The next item is this. And oh my goodness, they're fairy lights. And I was actually saying I needed some more fairy lights the other day. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're, wow, they are stunning. They are moon, fairy lights, they've got moons on them. How cute, they're gonna, oh my God, they're gonna be adorable. And it says, to take your reading experience to a stellar level, see what we did there, we're including moon shaped fairy lights. Hang them above your bed, reading chair, or place them on your bookshelves. That's a good idea, I might do them on my bookshelves. What? It's a pillowcase. Now I need to read this book, otherwise it's just gonna look dumb in my room because I don't know what it is. But it's Red Rising inspired. I do know that much. Through Hardship to the Stars. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you this. That's the front and then the back is like this. Okay, this is beautiful and I appreciate all of its beauty, but this is really lost on me and I really want to have it in my room, but like, it kind of is a bit silly <laughs> because I don't know what it is. I have really warm colours in my room. I have like burnt oranges, so this will actually match really well. Um, I'm obsessed and I have a plain cushion that doesn't match my room, which this can just go over and look so cute. If you are a Fairy Loot subscriber and you watched my last video, I didn't even notice that I didn't have these until I watched other unboxings and I was like, hang on, well, how are mine? So then they sent me them separately, but 
got my tarot cards five and six of wands so the two in the january box were the three and four of wands so fantastic i don't know what these are from but what's new these are beautiful though the characters are stunning this month's collectible tarot cards are the five and six of wands they are designed by the t very talented rs28 and are inspired by spin the dawn by elizabeth lim the actually i'm desperate to read spin the dawn anyway these are beautiful this little envelope i presume it's going to be an enamel pin oh it's inspired by vicious awesome Vicious enamel pin. I actually own this book. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I do love V Schwab. Plenty of humans were monstrous and plenty of monsters knew how to play at being human. That's beautiful. I love that. And I need to find somewhere to display it so it's not... Um... Yeah, I don't want it to just be like another thing that I just put on a shelf and don't do anything with. But that's beautiful. It's the first enamel pin I own. The only one. And now I'm like looking everywhere like, where can I put it? <laughs> And then, everyone, we have the start of the show with some paper stuck to it. Oh, I'm actually nervous because I've got no idea what the book is. We've got the fairy scoop. Keep those for next month. Okay. I'm, I'm a literally obsessed with the fairy loop bookmark, so it's the same art as this. We've got the artwork and author's letter here. Wow. Oh my god! Wow, that is literally stunning. Obviously, we have the moment of truth. Why am I like nervous? Okay, here we go. Okay, I am not sure I've heard of this. Okay. This Golden Flame by Emily Victoria. I love it when it's like something I've never heard of before. I'm really excited. Change your fate, pay the price. Oh, this is really beautiful. So we've got some stunning spray edges. What? Oh my goodness, just took the dust jacket off and I was not ready. Are you for real right now? So this is, I believe, yeah the same artwork i don't think i've ever seen embossing like that in my life that is stunning and we've got a little signature as well and then behind the dust cover we have some artwork which oh i'm literally loving this like vibe it's so cool these look like some badass characters can i just tell you that fairy loot have done it again they have outdone themselves wow <laughs> i'm so obsessed with the artwork as well like oh let me read this for you so our featured book of the month is this golden flame by emily victoria it's an epic fantasy adventure full of rune magic rebellion and finding where you truly belong you can expect family bonds and likely friendships and a powerful ancient army which if awoken will change everything this fairy loot exclusive edition is signed by the author, has an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, foil embossing on the case, and artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket. We hope you'll enjoy this adventure. This just looks sensational. I'm so happy. I love that it's a release I haven't actually heard of. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So that concludes my February fairy loot unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I'm literally obsessed with all of the items. I think my favourite item is the candle maybe or the pillowcase once i have read red rising i will appreciate the pillowcase much much more so yes that concludes my favorite unboxing i really do hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it please give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel i post bookish videos weekly if not more regularly so yes thank you so much for watching my video and i hope to see you in the next one bye Because I think once I've read Red Rise, it that's a tongue twister, isn't it? I put everything away and I just I'm just gonna get it back out again, but anyway.